would you call it? You call it uh, uh, PowerPoint uh, yeah. pictures that mm -hmm, I'm going mm -hmm, to, but mm -hmm. these are just ordinary. Okay, I see. That's the printed, uh, the printing of the PowerPoint you use for your um, for my lecture. Uh, lecture. Ah, okay, good. So I, That's very if good. you are interested, because of the same be. day you have the the conference, yeah. I have the flight back. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, here I have uh, just uh, uh, written history of IceCat. I don't know if you have heard of IceCat. Yeah. It's the of big uh, European radar, yeah, yeah, uh, incoherent yeah. scatter radar. Yeah. And um, uh, this is, has just been published. It is for people like you. I mean, it's not required uh, to be a scientist. It's Good. history. Good. So this is the early history of uh, ISCAT, the in European Incoherent Scatter Facility. Good. You are welcome uh, to read that. That uh, is also part of my history, so to say. It took us 20 years. Uh, to uh, produce it uh, in the final shape. So to say. Ah, okay. So, and <coughs> tell me, Professor Bengt. Uh, uh, I, I do not, uh, uh, in the first hand, talk about that. I, I think this you get best by reading it, if you are interested. Of course. Uh, this, uh, if you have never, I could give an introduction yeah. to you. Uh, <coughs> the uh, incoherent scattering uh, mechanism yeah. is a very special physical mechanism that is the most powerful one to uh, uh, investigate the conducting upper atmosphere, the ionosphere. And uh, uh, that was discovered in U.S in 58, yeah. and that was the same year, well, the, in the year after I came to Kiruna, and we started doing research here. Oh, you came to Kiruna, so in 59? I, I came to Kiruna in 57. F in 57, so, yeah. okay. From where? From Stockholm. Oh, from Stockholm. Yeah, and uh, uh, that was when uh, the uh, Swedish Academy of Science established a new uh, geophysical observatory directed primarily to aurora and uh, ionospheric research, and it was uh, already before Sputnik. Uh, and uh, uh, so I started working with that in '56, and uh, it was ready in '57 uh, and inaugurated at the beginning of the International Geophysical Year. In 19, uh, on the 1st of July 1957. Yeah. So we started uh, then. We were five people at the beginning in mm -hmm. the new uh, observatory. I was uh, 29 years old uh, when I, uh, we moved here with my family, we mm. had my wife and yeah. our uh, oldest son, yeah. who was one and a half year old. and. Uh, we came here to try it out, so to say, as young people generally uh, do, uh, to see what it was like. But it was uh, certainly, we were quite interested in it. And then came Sputnik, mm. also uh, in uh, the same uh, year, and we, we got the Space Age, Mm -hmm. And we were riding on the space wave, so to say. So when I retired after 37 years, we uh, in '94, we uh, were 500 people in Sweden. We were five when we started, and 500 uh, wow. uh, at the uh, yeah. 37 years yeah. later. So a big success. 